Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. So today's video is kind of a follow-on from my video on why I went vegan and if you haven't seen that video I'd recommend you give that a watch um, especially if you're not vegan and kind of have no idea why people would ever choose to be vegan. Um, it's not like a preachy thing it's just kind of me throwing out some facts which made me reconsider my diet. Um, so yeah if you want to watch that link in the description. But yeah, today's video is about how you can go vegan. So just to kind of give you some background on me, um, I've been vegetarian since the age of about seven, vegan for about a year and over a year and a half-ish. Um, none of my family were vegan, vegetarian or anything. I just kind of did it myself, I guess. Um, and yeah, this is kind of going to be about how you can transition more easily into a vegan lifestyle if you are interested in doing that. This video is not aimed at hating on people who aren't vegan or who eat meat or anything like that. This is kind of just if you wanted to make a change or transition towards a vegan lifestyle, yeah, this is just kind of help you out and give you some of my experience. So my number one tip is Research. I mean, odds are, if you want to go vegan, you've probably done, I'm hoping, I guess, um, some research into why being vegan is so beneficial to like, the planet, to the environment, that kind of thing, to animals, to your health. But I think having researched those causes um, is quite important, especially when you have moments of, moments of temptation or moments where you forget why you're doing it. It's quite important to have your cause is defined, which you can return to as to why you're, why you're vegan in the end. Equally, research is quite important uh, for things like health and nutrition. Um, I actually became fascinated by like nutritional stuff and like which fruits and vegetables contain uh, high amounts of certain essential vitamins and that kind of thing and what most people in the UK are deficient in, whether you eat meat or not. Like, I just never considered those sorts of things until I kind of went out and researched it. There are loads of websites that give advice about being vegan. And let me just tell you now, protein is not an issue. I think the media have really like inflated the idea that you can't have enough protein if you don't eat meat, but that's a massive lie. I mean, there are like loads of massive bodybuilders who are vegan and you don't have to rely on like protein powders to get protein. So many vegetables contain lots of protein naturally. Uh, if you don't believe me, look it up. But yeah, just kind of do a little bit of research into it. Number two, which is kind of going along with um, research, is find some YouTubers or Instagrammers or that kind of thing um, who are quite inspirational, who eat vegan food and make it look really good. So I'm vegan, but like my channel isn't centered around veganism, like primarily. So I'd recommend you go find some amazing vegan YouTubers. I mean, there are loads like Bonnie Rebecca. She does really cool, um, like what I eat in a days and that sort of thing. But just kind of like for inspiration, it makes it a fun thing. And the Instagram pages that are vegan on, um, on Instagram, they are insane. And I look at them every day in my feed and it just reminds me like of the variety of like healthy food that you can have. Um, yeah, being vegan is not boring. <laughs> Number three, um, this is kind of a personal thing for you. You need to decide, do you want to go gradually vegan or do you want to just do it and go vegan overnight? So most people go vegetarian first and kind of like cut out the meat element of it. I mean, for me, it wasn't like a transition thing because I had been vegetarian since I was like seven. Um, but yeah, for me, meat wasn't like obviously hard to cut out then. But um, if meat is something that would probably be quite difficult to cut from your diet, it can potentially make it easier on your family if you cut out meat and fish first and kind of continue eating like dairy and other things um, and see how that works for you being vegetarian. And my tip number four kind of goes along with that, which is start introducing the substitutes into your diet. I literally uh, wish I had found plant milks earlier in my life because I love them like a thousand times more than I do uh, cow's milk anyway, like whether I'm vegan or not. And yeah, I started um, getting more plant milks in our house, uh, just in, into the family life a bit. Um, 
there are so many to choose from, whether it's almond milk or soya milk. Uh, my personal favorite is hazelnut milk. I really like the coconut almond milk. Um, just explore all the Alpro flavors like cashew milk, and rice milk. They're all great. I think just starting to replace those dairy items um, yeah, kind of makes it easier to transition. And also it's not like you're missing out. Like honestly, those milks are amazing, whether you're putting them in a hot chocolate or you're having them in your porridge in the morning like me, uh, or you're putting them in a cake or anything, like plant milks are amazing. And also plant yogurts, again, Alpro yogurts, or um, there's this brand, oh my God, what's the brand called? It's like the Coconut Collaborative or something. And they do like coconut milk yogurts, which don't taste different from normal yogurts. They're still amazing. So yeah, just start like replacing things uh, in your diet towards moving, moving towards veganism. Like my whole family isn't vegan, but we never have normal milk in the house anymore because my whole family prefer plant milks now anyway. So proud. Tip five, start upping your fruit and veg if you're not eating that much fruit and veg. Um, yeah, if you're vegan, I mean, to be honest, you should, you should eat lots of fruit and veg anyway, but um, particularly if you're vegan, your diet should have quite a lot of whole natural foods in it. So whether that means um, for breakfast, having some fruit in your breakfast or eating it more throughout the day or for dinner, perhaps it's not normally that like vegetable dense or not like a massive variety of vegetables. Um, maybe just ask your mum, like, oh mum, do you think we could add some more vegetables into our meals? She'll probably be really surprised, like, are you joking? That's amazing. Like, my child wants to be healthy. <laughs> um, yeah, just kind of up your fruit and veg. Um, and my tip number six is um, kind of staple foods. I think it's a common misconception that being vegan is expensive because let me tell you, being vegan is cheaper. The food bill is always cheaper unless you want to buy a load of random expensive substitutes like for example like vegan cheese would be more expensive than normal cheese but then I rarely have vegan cheese anyway so I think it depends on like how you want to live as a vegan person but generally most meals like consist of kind of staple foods whether that is like quinoa, rice, beans, lentils, um, like stir fry, vegetables, that sort of thing. Um, potatoes, like jacket potato. Basically just those aren't expensive foods inherently. And I understand that some fruit and veg can be expensive, but meat is also quite expensive. And when you kind of weigh it up, the staple foods, especially if you buy them in bulk, work out cheaper anyway. So start introducing more of those into your diet. Um, if you have to cook your own dinners, yeah, just kind of experiment with the easy vegan meals that you can make. And I'll be doing some videos on easy vegan food, um, yeah, to come. So I hope you enjoy that. Tip number seven, check your labels. Um, I literally have to look at the ingredient list of pretty much everything if I haven't eaten that thing before, which is kind of a pain, but you get really used to it. And I think it's actually quite amazing because people don't really look at the labels and therefore aren't really in touch with what's in the food that they're eating. Like you kind of don't even realize that a lot of foods have random chemicals in them that you've never heard of, or that some crisps have milk powder in, like you just you just don't really like, like really? Um, yeah, so definitely check all your labels. Um, some things are accidentally vegan, like Oreos and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of things are also things you would expect to be vegan aren't. Like they just randomly throw milk powder in and you wonder why. Also look things up on the internet if you're wondering if it's vegan or not. Tip number eight is don't be too hard on yourself. And if you are going to try being vegan, I highly recommend doing like a 30 day vegan challenge. I did that myself. Um, and in that 30 days, I kind of call it like the adjustment period. Um, so kind of expect your body to give you cravings of things like cheese because obviously if that's your standard diet and then you stop eating those things even if they're bad for you your body just craves it and yeah I think you have to kind of um as a bit of self-love you kind of have to appreciate that your body is adjusting to a new diet which is often more fibrous and more nutrient dense by that I also mean don't be hard on yourself if you accidentally eat things that have like milk powder in, you're like, oh damn, like what the hell? I didn't realize that I had that in there. 
um, like be lenient, but at the same time, don't give in to those cravings. Cravings are only there because you're so used to eating something. Um, like when I first went vegetarian as a seven year old child, um, I craved chicken loads, I can remember that. And now today, the thought of having meat, it just, it doesn't even seem like food. It just doesn't seem appetizing at all because my taste buds have kind of just changed. Um, yeah, you, it's really hard to understand if you, if you eat meat yourself, um, how your taste buds change, but they really do change. Um, so yeah, just be lenient with yourself in the first 30 days. I remember my birthday fell in that first 30 days and someone bought me a cake. And so I had cake on my birthday, even though it had eggs in it. And I haven't done that since, but do you know what I mean? I'm just trying to say like, don't be hard on yourself. If you say give in, like don't give up. If you give in, say once. But yeah, I hope this helps you out. And I might do a more like practical things to buy, like essentials that I would buy um, when you're transitioning to a vegan lifestyle, that kind of thing. But yeah, I hope this helped you out and I hope you consider um, reducing your consumption of eggs, meat and dairy because the industry is not too fun but um but yeah even if you don't I hope you have a good day <laughs> see you later guys bye